One of the most exciting new developments for the release of PowerML 2011 is the Stop Model Engagement functionality. This function allows us to precisely control how much the tool is engaged in the unmachined stock, thus allowing us to eliminate any excessive depths of cut and also eliminate any cuts which are insignificant or taking very little or no material off the part. The stop model engagement functionality will work with all finishing strategies within PowerMill. Let's take a look at this new function in action. The stock engagement function works in conjunction with the stop model. So to begin with I have created a stop model calculated with a 16 millimeter ball with a thickness of 0.5 of a millimeter. So if we zoom in we can see that we have the 0.5 stock allowance all over and then in the corner, in the sharp corner, we have the radius of the ball. So we have excessive material in the corner above the 0.5 stock allowance. If we expand our toolpath tree here, you can see we have a number of toolpaths that are being created. The first toolpath is a standard 3D offset toolpath without using the stop model engagement functionality and unsmoothed toolpath. So if we just switch off our stop model and we look from above we can see quite clearly the sharp changes in direction that we typically get with 3D offset when we don't smooth it. And if we spin the part round not only do we get the sharp changes of direction in the plan view but also we can see the sharp corners here where it's rolling down over the steep wall and then hitting the base here. So let's switch on the smoothing. So a standard, this is standard 3D offset smoothing. So on our 3D offset finishing form you can see the smoothing box is ticked. Again looking from above you can see clearly now that if we overlay the old toolpath and the new toolpath we can see clearly that we've smoothed out the 3D offset in the plan view but if we spin the part round again then we still have this sharp corner here. So now let's have a look at the result we get when we switch on the stock engagement functionality. Already we can see a huge difference in the toolpath in this region here. If we switch on the previous toolpath you can see we had the tool diving into that sharp corner take, taking an excessive cut but with the new toolpath with the stock engagement switched on it's actually rounded that corner to protect the tool from excessive engagement in that corner where we have the radius left from the previous tool. So how does this work? If we go to the settings for this toolpath there's a new option called stock engagement and we can specify the maximum depth of cut we would like the tool to take into the stock model. So I've set the value to 0 0.6 so this means that the tool will not engage further into the stock model than 0 0.6 of a millimeter. So effectively what we have here is a situation now where we can literally arc fit all finishing strategies using this technique. Not only is it protecting the tool from plunging into unmachined stock and potentially uh, damaging the tool. It's also rounding off any sharp corners to allow us to use a higher feed rate. As mentioned the stock engagement functionality works with all finishing toolpaths so let's have a look now at a constant Z example. So here we can see a constant Z without stock engagement and you can see clearly that 
the tool path goes right into the corner which would be plunging into this unmachined radius. Now if we activate the toolpath which has the stock engagement switched on, so if we look at the settings again, stock engagement is switched on with a depth of cut of 0.6. So you can see this time the very last pass has been moved outwards to prevent the tool from plunging into the material and if we draw the original toolpath you can see how the final two passes have been moved outwards to, to avoid that excessive depth of cut. The stock engagement functionality can also be used to prevent over machining or machining fresh air. So if we go back to our stop model you can see further down in the stop model history I've created an entry based upon a 10 millimeter ball nose with a zero thickness. So here we can see the material left in the corners now. So now we're going to do a constant Z strategy with a 6 millimeter ball, this time taking into consideration the stock engagement. So if we go to our stock engagement tab we can see that this time we're reducing the depth of cut into the stock by 0.5 but we're also making sure that we only machine the stock. We're not using any type of boundary or limiting method for the toolpath we're just using uh, the stock engagement to control how much of the part we machine. So there we can see the result of that is is no excessive machining or fresh air machining and at the same time we're making sure the tool is not plunging too deep into the unmachined stock.